Welcome back. On today's episode of Wrenching on Cars, we are going to be doing a little bit of housekeeping. These fog lights, when matched up to the uh, HIDs, they just look like garbage. So let's fix that. Propped open, this is what we got. Let's see, all the way down, pretty much right where my finger is, is where we're looking. And I can get my arm down there. It's a little snug, but I can touch it. I just don't think it's really gonna come, you know, get picked up on the camera. So that one I'll be able to do with my hand. This one over here is really tight. There's not really a whole lot of room either which way, but I might be able to reach if I could move this air box. This right here, it's just like a, like a channel that goes from under the grill and it goes up here, which feeds to the air filter. So I think if I just pop these two out, I should be able to lift this up out of the way because I think right here I should be able to get my arm in. Maybe. Don't count me on it. you guys are going to want to be interested in seeing what exactly I'm doing but I don't know if I'm going to have a whole lot of room to get the camera down there it's all the way right down in here let me see if I can give you a better view of where it is So this is what we're going to be putting in. This is what came out. They are Sylvania LED fog lights. That's it. It's a 6000K cool white and plug and play, five year warranty. So that's pretty much it. Should be nice and bright. Now let's get these babies installed.
clipped. That's one. IDs warm up, they won't be as blue because it's just part of the warm up. Looks much better. There you have it. I bet you thought that we were done today. We're not. So the camera died, I just continued to move on. Basically, there was a big plastic shroud that was up here. You saw in the last clip. Turns out that you could actually just pull it out of the way a little bit. It's on these studs. These right here, one, two. And uh, just give it a little tug, it pulled right down. And then you can see, this is the, uh, what is that? That's the directional. And this is the reverse. So just simply undoing that, turn it counterclockwise, it'll come out, and then that gives you your access to the bulb, change the bulb. Now that I got like the camera on the charger, I should be able to do the same thing on the other side. We'll see if I can get a good angle for the camera. no one has ever been here before except for when they made this thing in the factory bingo So that guy right there, that's where we're going to loosen up and then that should expose our bulb.
All right, we got the bulb on. I'm gonna go uh, put it in reverse, see if it lights up. It's always good to make sure that you test it, anything before you fasten it all back together. Just test it, make sure that it's all right, because sometimes LEDs have uh, only one direction. It would be a shame to have all this stuff buttoned back up to find out that you have the bulb turned uh, inserted into the wrong way. So, let's test it. Guys, let me know when the light turns on. Can you see it? It's lit up. Cool. All right, we're fastened in. Just gotta button up the, the back, get the plastic thing put back in, and this job is done. Okay, one, two, three, just kidding. <laughs> All right, we're looking pretty good. All right, so a little bit ago, I noticed that something fell off the Jeep. It's actually in the frame right now. You can actually see it. Let me know when you can see it. Okay, well, I noticed that my valve stem cap was missing. So I got replacements. I don't know if it can focus, but I got it. I got some that show Jeep. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go do this on all, all the other ones.
There's a little bit of the brass showing, but whatever. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for sticking around and uh, watching just stuff getting done. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'm not sure when that's going to be, but appreciate the watch. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks again.